Welcome to Xara Template Tutorial Lesson Number 54. In this Xara Web Designer 7 Premium Tutorial, we're going to talk about how to add a search engine to your website. And what I mean by a search engine is that a user will be able to come to your website and search for specific content and do that by using the search box that's on your website. And before I get started, I do want to mention that this video is being created because I have a YouTube viewer request to make a video on how to add search functionality to your website within the Xara Web Designer 7 Premium software. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up your existing website if you haven't already. And once you open up the website that you want to add the search functionality to, you're going to go ahead and go to your designs gallery in the upper right hand corner. And once you click on that, you're going to go ahead and lock that panel. And we're going to look for the folder that says widgets, forms, and more. And we're going to left click on that folder. And it'll bring up a list of subfolders after you click that first folder. And then you're going to look for the folder that says other widgets. So let's left click on that. And that's going to bring up a list of all the other widgets. And you're going to look for the one that says Google search like what you see right here and then you're gonna left click on that and drag while holding your left click mouse button drag it to your workspace and then release it and that's gonna pop up this new window that you see here and this is gonna be on the custom search engine Google website so let's go ahead and expand this up by clicking the square right next to your X and that's gonna expand this window to make it a little bit bigger and easier for you to follow this tutorial so the first thing that you want to do is sign in to your account. If you don't have an account, you're going to have to sign up for one. So click on this blue button that says sign into custom search engine. And by the way, this may look different at a later date, but at the time of this recording on November 11th, 2012, this is how you would follow this tutorial. However, if it changes, you can always send me a message and I can make a new tutorial at a later date. But go ahead and click on that button and that's going to take you to the sign in page and when you get on that page if you have an account you're going to place your information in and you're going to sign in if you don't have an account you're going to go to this button in the upper right hand corner that says sign up and you'll click on that and you'll follow whatever instructions that Google gives you to sign up for an account but I'm going to assume that you have an account if you don't go ahead and click that red button and sign up for one and then once you finish that you can f finish following this tutorial so go ahead and place in your email address and then type in your password and once you type in all that information it's going to take you to the administration panel and on your left hand side you're going to see an option that says new search engine and you're going to click on that link so once you left click on new search engine it's going to tell you to enter all your information for creating a search engine for your website. So the first thing you're going to do is describe your search engine. And in this case, I'll just call it XR Website Development Search Engine. And then description, I'll put, you know, uh, website development training for YouTube viewers. We'll just make that up. And you'll set your language to whatever your language is. My language is not Russian, so I'm going to set that back to English. Uh, once you pick your language, you'll go to Sites to Search. And this is where you're going to enter your domain name. So type in whatever the name of your domain name is. In my case, I'll put www.xrtemplate.com. And if you have more than one, you can always hit the enter key and type in additional domain names, you know, like that. So that's how you would add additional domain names. But in my case, I'm only going to add one because there's only one website that I want this search engine to pull data from. So once you do that, the next thing that we're going to do is go to our last section here that says select an edition. And you're going to want to select the option that says standard edition unless you want the one that you have to pay $100 per year. 
but I prefer to use the standard edition. I really don't need any fancy features at this moment, so I'm going to leave that set. And then you have to agree to the terms of service, so you'll left click in that check box to say that you agree. And that's how you fill out the first page for setting up your search engine. You give it a name, you give it a description, you set the name of the language that you speak, you enter your domain name, and then you set the type, the edition that you want to use, and then you accept the terms of the agreement. After, you, after you've done all that, you'll hit the next key. And after you hit the next key, it gives you a few options to customize your design. And you can leave it to default if you want, or you can left click on some of the other options and you can watch the, the search box below change as I click on these different options. And as you can see, if you look at the bottom, you'll see that it's changing as I click on these different options for the search engine. But I'm going to set it back to default because I prefer to keep it that way. And once you set that, you're going to go ahead and hit the next key again at the bottom left hand corner here. And that's pretty much it. You've now did everything that you need to do to create your search engine. So we're going to click in this box that has this code here. And once you left click in that once, it'll highlight everything. You'll hit control C to copy. And you actually don't even have to hit control C. If you left click in here once, you can just hit the insert key and Xire will automatically insert this into your website. So hit the insert key and that's going to insert that search box into your website. And I'm going to go ahead and actually close out the designs gallery. We don't in, we don't need that anymore. So go ahead and close the designs gallery out by clicking the X button in the upper right hand corner and that'll close that out. And I'm actually going to reduce the size of this Google search box. So let's click on one of the middle end nodes here and drag inward to decrease the width and that'll make that search engine box a little bit smaller. So let's go ahead and go to file and then go to preview website. And let's try typing in some information. So maybe I want to see the client reviews for Xar on my website. And I know I have information about this so that's the reason I'm typing client reviews. And you'll notice that hey you can't see anything why isn't it showing the data? I, I hit the search key. I can't see the information. What happened? So let me go ahead and explain to you what's happening. The problem that you have is that you have to actually adjust the widget size to make sure that it shows all of the information. So let's go ahead and close this window out and hit the X key. And we're going to actually increase the height of this search engine box. So let's drag it down real far down. I'm going to make it really long. That way I can ensure that it captures everything. And you'll notice if you go back to file, preview website, and we type in client reviews again, and or whatever is on your site. Keep in mind you do need to type something relevant to your website. If you don't have client reviews on there, it's not going to actually show any information. So I apologize for not mentioning that the first time I typed that in there. So type in some words that are actually on your website and you'll see now it actually displays the different things that are on my website if I type in web design it'll list anything that's relevant to web design now you still actually want to make it a little bit bigger because it's not showing the numberings at the bottom and I'll show you what I mean let's go ahead and close this out I'm going to actually bring this up a little bit and I'm going to make it a little bit taller than what it was before. And let's go ahead and go to File, Preview Website again, and let's type Web Design again. And it's still not showing all the data, so I have to make it a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and increase the, the width as well. I'm going to try to make this where you can see all the information. I apologize that it's taking a little bit longer than what I want it to. Okay, make that a little bit bigger. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to File, Preview Website. And hopefully this time we'll be able to see all that extra information that I want you to see. And 
it is still not showing at all. I don't know why. Let's go ahead and go to our web browser and see if it'll show it when we go to our web browser. But it's supposed to show numberings at the bottom to show you that hey, hey there's more there's more pages of content with the word web design on it. So I don't know why it's not showing all that. I'm gonna have to go back and maybe increase my page height some more. So I'm gonna increase my page height some more and I'm going to increase the search engine box as well okay hopefully that is tall enough uh, if not you know unfortunately I won't be able to show you in this tutorial but I'm trying to get it to show that there's actually more than one page so hopefully this time it will show it there we go I got it alright so now you'll see at the bottom here it shows the numberings and if you click on number two it'll take you to the next page of content and if you paid attention at the top you'll see that it says about 55 results available so that's why when you scroll down it has these additional pages that you can click on to look at other content that's relevant on the website so that's how you, you use a search engine on your website I hope that it helped you and if not you know send me a message and I'll try my best to answer your questions but that should show you how to add a, a search engine to your website successfully and again, if you have any questions, please send me a message on YouTube. If you'd like to see a specific tutorial created, again, send me a message on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give us thumbs up if this video was helpful. And, uh, you know, definitely share and embed our video as well. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day. Yeah.